Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are here at Nook Inc. and I am finally going to set up my Northern Hemisphere Island. When I first started playing Animal Crossing, I set it up on the Switch that our kids primarily play. Um, they play, you know, just like everybody. We have tons of the Switch games. I love the Nintendo system. I feel like it's my favorite one. Um, I don't know. I haven't really played PlayStation and Xbox is fine, but honestly, I just like the Nintendo games. Um, but anyway, I am going to set up my Northern Hemisphere island and the switch that I already set it up on is the Southern Hemisphere. And I have to admit, I've kind of played, I've played a lot. I've played almost an embarrassing amount of time. Um, I looked at the miles, sorry, not the miles. I looked at the hours the other day and it was a lot. And I only just now did um, a friend request to one of my girlfriends. And I definitely need to reach out and find other people who are playing this and make more friends because it's taking forever to grow the hybrids of my flowers on my hemisphere, my southern hemisphere. And it's taking forever to um, also, what's the other thing that I'm trying to do? Oh, I only have two fruits. So I don't know. It's kind of irritating that you can't do a lot of the stuff on your own you have to like for sure you have to have friends and you have to like go visit other islands and stuff like that I mean that's the point right like I get it that's like the social aspect and stuff like that but it's also kind of like annoying like I want to be able to play and not have to worry about like seeing other other people's stuff or I don't know maybe I'm just kind of being a little bit picky and I kind of feel a little annoyed just right now like in this exact moment you know what I mean so anyway here we are and I'm working on my northern hemisphere character and I'm positive I wonder if I'm just going to end up picking the same um, characteristics I don't know okay let's get some brown eyes and I know that I have circle eyes in the other game Oh, I don't remember which ones I have, although I just played earlier today. Um, hmm, which eyes do I want now? Those ones are very interesting. I don't think I want the eyelashes on the bottom. Big circles. That kind of looks, I don't know, looks kind of odd. I guess I'll go with these ones. And then a circle nose. And I like the little wavy smile. Cheeks, that's fine. Confirm. Yes. So the whole reason why I wanted to set this up was because of winter and the snow that we're going to get. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube that are showing the different toys that are going to be available, but also the fact that there's going to be snow on the ground, snow on the bridges and the gates, or sorry, not the gates, but like the fences and the hedges and just all of these things. So I'm pretty, I really want that. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, let's see. What do I want this time? Okay, so a big thing is I know that in the beginning I can only set up my stuff. I feel like I want one of these bottom two islands. I know that I can only set up my stuff in the spaces that I have available to me until I earn the, um, the little thing that lets you jump across the river. Okay, which of these looks good? Hmm, let me take a few minutes. Okay, I've been looking at these for probably way too long. So I really like this bottom corner one that my hand is already on. I like that it has the land that separates the beach on the left side. Um, I like that resident services is close to the airport. I don't like this one at all, this top right corner one. I don't like that one at all. I don't really like the top left corner I kind of like the bottom um oh look the secret beach area is at the top on both sides Ooh, I kind of like okay I'm gonna have to think about this again okay I've decided I'm going to go with the bottom right side Let's see what fruits I get, because if I don't like the fruit or if I get the same one, honestly, I'm not going to save and I'm going to start over. Okay, let's see what happens, because I already have 
What do I have? I have cherries as my native fruit on my southern hemisphere. If I get cherries, I'm definitely backing out and starting over. If I get oranges, I'm backing out and starting over as well because I already have these two on my southern hemisphere island and I'm sorry, that is going to super annoy me. I just want to have I want to have different fruit and I kind of also wonder like who my people would be, who my other villagers would be when I get here. So my first villagers on my southern hemisphere were Fuchsia and Axel, and I'm sorry to say that both of them have left my island and also I'm I am full on island on villagers. I have all 10. Okay, first thing, it's winter. I see brown grass. I see brown weeds. Oh, cherries. Nope, not happening. Home. Close the software. Starting over. I knew this would happen. Well, that's not true. I didn't know this would happen. I feel like the cherries are like the... What are you going to say? The cherries are like just such a basic fruit that I don't know everybody gets okay next time you hear from me I'll be at the new island okay y'all this is the second try let's see if I'm going to have luck let's see if I am not going to get cherries again like I said I'm also not going to accept oranges because I already have both of these so I really hope that the island gives me one of the other fruits and what are those? Are those apples? <gasps> okay, I'm definitely perfectly fine with apples if that's what they are. I can't really see. I only saw one tree. Is this going to autosave on me? Oh, no. Okay, plus who are my villagers? That rabbit looks weird. Okay, who are these people? Come on, I need to see them first. Oh, my goodness. I like the yellow airport. We all know that's like a thing. Who are you? Antonio. Okay. Who are you? Mira. Okay. She has a star on the back of her head. How interesting is that? Cool. Plaza's right here. Okay. I am. Oh, wait. It's not saved yet. I need to see the fruit. I think I saw Antonio when I was doing some villager hunting on my southern hemisphere island and I wanted to, I don't think I picked him for what reason though, I honestly don't remember. Hmm. Okay, it's confirmed we have apples and I will be perfectly happy to stay with this island. Not so sure about these villagers, I am not so sure that I want a yellow rabbit um, as my villager. Honestly, I don't think that I did as much, um, what would you say? Like, I didn't do research as to who these people, who these villagers are. I know a little bit about who they are. Um, since I just started playing the game, you know, last month, I didn't really take a look into seeing or researching. Like, people, some people are like, oh, I really have to have this one, and I really have to have that one, and I'm kind of like, I mean... A villager is a villager, right? Okay, let's check out our new island. Let's see. Northern Hemisphere Island. Sorry, this is Northern Hemisphere. So I do have some brown stuff. I've got weeds and I've got like these darker leaves, um, the fall leaves. So that's cool. I need to figure out where I want to put my house in this one. In the Southern Hemisphere, I have waterfront property and I'm over on the left side of the screen. I kind of like maybe like a central location, like right about here maybe. Where am I at on the map? Oh, I'm pretty central here. Hmm. Kind of like it, actually. I, f I don't remember how big it needs to be. Maybe if I... Let me pick up some of the... Is it letting... It's not letting me pick anything up yet. That's annoying. Okay. I don't want to build there. I want to build like here it's so funny that moving like you know one square up whoops there's water right there that's not gonna work also why would I want it to go right there I couldn't walk behind it come on that's crazy
Yay. Okay, now I know that I have to go talk to my villagers and get their tents and help them find places to live. So here's Antonio. Honestly, I don't want Antonio. I don't want an anteater. Um, I feel like I want... Oh, is he a jock? I'm sorry, but I also made Axel. What? Wait, what did I just do? Shoot, I wasn't paying attention and I accidentally clicked something. No! Something seems off. Let me find you a place. That means I need to read a little bit closer. Okay. Antonio. It's pretty awesome. My god, it's the smartest part of my bod. Do I trust it? I'll find you a spot. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Mira looks like she's dressed up like a superhero. Okay, I kind of like her better now. And the fact that she's bright yellow is kind of throwing me off, but I love that she's a superhero. That is so cool. Hmm. Okay. I'll find you a spot, Mira. You need a spot. Perfectly fit for a superhero. I'm so happy that I have apples. Y'all have no idea. Plus, I'm pretty sure that I can friend... I think that each of my Nintendos can friend each other, so then I can go pick up stuff from my Southern Hemisphere and then bring it back to my Northern hem Hemisphere. And would that be cheating a little bit? Not necessarily. I don't think it's cheating so much as it's like helping me out in the game. You know what I mean? Like, do I love playing this? 100%. I super love playing this. I still can't pick anything up. What the heck? I super love playing this. Um, it's just really fun. It gives me a lot of joy. And where am I going to put... Okay, what do I not like on my other island? I don't like that the one... I don't like the guy... I have one right next to the water. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Hmm... Maybe I'll just stick one of them, like, right here, right in the middle of everything. Okay, y'all. I have both of the villager tents set up. So here's Antonio's. And then not too far away is Mira's. And they're both kind of close to the water, but not super close to the water. And then, of course, my tent is up here in a really central location. I'm kind of already thinking about where I'm going to put other things. Can I not? Oh, cool. Okay. I did talk to, uh, what's his name over in the plaza here, Timmy Nook, and I need to go pick up some branches. I wonder if there's going to be bees already. I just need to pick up 10 branches so that we can have our celebratory campfire. I like the weeds in this one. I like the fall weeds. They are brown and green and like wheat colored. And honestly, it just kind of looks like wheat. It doesn't really look like a weed to me. I suppose these dark brown ones are supposed to look like the weeds have dried up, but the other taller weeds, like right here underneath this tree, just honestly, they look like wheat. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I mean, I talked about it in my other video, my intro video to my Southern Hemisphere, that this just feels like a fun little game that you could do. And it just has so much like native spin to it, right? Like, okay, what are we going to do? We are going to go like gather all of our things. I'm going to leave the weeds because they look nice. They look like wheat. They look like sage. They look like something that's grown on the prairie. I mean, it just looks really good, right? So yeah, I think this is just a fun little game. So, okay, I need to collect some stuff and then I'll be back. So, Makoalote. I took out the H that's in the translation that I found in a dictionary um, because it wouldn't fit. It's too long. But that's okay because I think a lot of the H's are added in our Lakota language anyway. 
So this is that I am leasing land. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, I'm going to love this island. Let me get back to some more. Let me get back to some more of the, uh, not changes, but let me work on this a little bit and then I'll come back and give another update. Oh, I'm actually really close to resident services. Okay, so that's cool. Let's see what the things that I'm going to start out with are. I'm pretty sure that one of them is, okay, so there's a radio and I think at some point I'm going to get the switch. I'm going to get the Animal Crossing switch because this is the Animal Crossing switch that I'm playing on, like the theme or I don't know what to call the brand of it. All right, everyone. Yay, look at my new island. Okay, I thought that was going to show my island name for some reason. Let's check our mail. I'm pretty sure that this will have like some bills or something. Oh, maybe this is going to be, oh, actually, I think this is going to be my, uh, one of these is going to be the Nintendo Switch that they're giving me. So that's cool because actually I think it's quite a lot of miles. It's like 30,000. I don't remember. I wonder if I can just place some of it outside just so I can see what it is. A Yule log. Yep, that was the Switch. I just saw it. DIY workbench. Okay. Makoalote. Makoalote miles. Yes. All right. I made my first DIY. I don't know if it goes in some order, but this one is the fishing rod. And you know what I love? I love that the Nooks are all wearing sweaters and jackets. And I really like the design on their sweaters too. They have little leaves on there and they just look really cute. Oh, he has pants on. That's the first time I noticed that actually. You know, I don't really remember the order of what to do or when when to do things. I mean, I know that everything comes, it, it follows day by day. Like this first day, I'm not going to get access to a lot of stuff. I know all that. And I'm trying to remember though, like, Okay, so if I go sell stuff and I'll get some money and hmm, I just don't remember all the different things that I could do. Actually, I guess I could go ask Tom Nook and see what he says, but let's just go along and explore a little bit right now. Oh, cool. Antonio's fishing. Looks good. Looks like you're having fun. I think I only have access to this little bit. That's the other thing that I forgot. Okay, so there's a big fish. I just scared him away running a little bit too fast. There's a rock. I don't have a shovel to hit it or an axe either for that matter. So pretty much it's river, river, river. Okay, here's the beach. Tiny little rock. There's a manila clam. Oh, this beach is just tiny. Oh, we're right by the airport. That's why. Okay. Very similar situation or similar setup to my southern hemisphere. I have the island in the same or the um, airport in the same place. Maybe all of them are that way though. And okay, not too much of a beach on this end before you run into um, the river right here. So I do have a lot of points where I can go fishing. So I do have like the, the entire, the entire thing is a river um, in the middle right there that that's this part of the island that we're on. And then just a little bit of the ocean. So I'm also pretty sure that I'm going to have access to different, I think, I think I'm going to have different bugs different fish and um, am I going to have different flowers? I think I'm going to have different flowers too. So that's kind of cool. I'm really interested in that. Maybe I can trade my bugs and stuff like that with my um, Southern Hemisphere island so that I can flesh out my museum. So actually, let me see if I can go fishing. I'm not seeing any fish. I probably shouldn't run. I should just kind of walk along right here and let's see what I can catch because I definitely need to make some money so that I can like keep going and figure out what we're going to do next. Did that fish leave already? Are you joking? Oh no, there he is. She. She? Let's see. So yeah, I'm just super excited to be able to get snow. I'm, I love winter. I love Christmas. Yes, it's cold. And I know that also I am very lucky that I stay home with our kids. I have only worked outside the house um, a little bit over the course of my marriage. Uh, otherwise, I've stayed home with the kids. And I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year. Um, I did just start the channel, but I'm really interested in that. And so I'm going to do Vlogmas and I'll do more of an introduction to like who I am and stuff like that. Probably like day one. Well, 
sometime within the first week, probably for sure, um, to do like an introduction video. So let's see if I can catch. Oh, shoot. I didn't do it fast enough. That's the other thing is you have to be super quick with these little fish or they just go away. It is not cool. Let's see. These guys seem even more jumpy than my Southern Hemisphere guys. Okay, well, I'm going to catch this one. Oh, I don't know if I've caught this one before. Yes, I have. Oh, I haven't caught him too much. You know, actually, on the Southern Hemisphere, I usually go fishing in the ocean. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just easier. Maybe it's more accessible. I also have a lot of stuff blocking my river. Like, I can't see. Okay, then that one just turned around. Excuse me. I hate it when they do that. And again. So I don't really go fishing in the river part so much as I go fishing in the ocean. I feel like a lot of the ocean... Look at that. I have a few things and... Let's pick up some weeds along the way. Um, I suppose I should drop off some of my stuff. I still have quite a few inventory space left considering. There's a bug. Got a dragonfly going. I'm just going to have to walk this thing in circles until I have like four or five. I don't remember. Did he actually give me an amount? Did he give me a number of them to catch or am I just, I'm just fishing for money right now. That's right. I totally forgot what I was doing. Okay. So let's do this. Let me get some more fish and sell them and then I'll be back. Well, look at that. There is a balloon that I cannot pop. That is the most frustrating thing. I have actually have never gone like balloon hunting. If I happen to see one, I will get my slingshot out and go for it. But I don't specifically go and like wait somewhere for them to spawn so that I can get them. And I think that is how a lot or all of, well, maybe not all, but probably a lot of the DIY recipes for the December, uh, for like the winter theme is going to be. I think they're all going to be, through darn it I didn't know he would turn around I think that's how they're going to be um I'm gonna get the recipes for like the toys and stuff from the December winter I don't know what that thing is called sorry guys like I'm a, I'm a good animal crossing player but I I just don't know all the names to stuff like that so let me get back to fishing and then I'll go sell some stuff this is definitely something I want to check. Can I select multiple things? Oh my goodness, I can. Okay, I did not know that I could select multiple things when I first started playing the game with the Southern Hemisphere. And so I was picking it one at a time. It was taking forever. And then I feel like one of them said something. Like Timmy said something or Mr. Nook or whoever. Somebody said like, oh, you can do it in multiples. You know what? It actually might have been when I started donating things. Um, when I started donating things to Blathers for the museum, I think he said, oh, you can select multiple. So then I was able to select multiple and it made me think, I wonder if I can do that here. And I could. When do I get the Nook Miles, by the way? When do I get to um, start earning the Nook Miles Plus? I wonder if that's like in a couple days or something. Let's get back to it. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Look, there's smoke on the campfire. I don't know why I never noticed that before. Oh, I guess when you get close, you can barely see it. But kind of being far away. Oh, you know. It's just kind of amazing sometimes to play these video games and to think about playing like Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers 3. I remember when that came out. I remember spending like an entire weekend. I think it was Super Mario Brothers 3 for the Super Nintendo. I'm pretty sure I spent an entire weekend, like a four day weekend off from school playing that game. And I th I'm pretty sure I played until I won. And you know, that was just like such an awesome thing to do whenever we were kids. But you look at these graphics and I just, you know, I just remain like really happy and amazed. And you know what I just noticed? I'm pretty sure that my eyes are gray on this, this little character's eyes are gray. I thought I picked brown. Hmm. So I know that part of the game, well, you know that the game is like has all these pretty much regular daily tasks that you're supposed to do. Hitting the rocks, shaking the trees. Oh, look, I got some money. Cool. 
Um, what I've done in my Southern Hemisphere, I really just need to get a tour up about then and I keep talking about it. Sorry about that. But what I've done in my Southern Hemisphere is definitely what I'll be doing in this one. And that is I've divided up the island into different parts, not using anything. Like I'm not using like fences or hedges or whatever. I've just like separated out where I might put my trees and, uh, I'll think like, okay, whenever I have a Nook Miles thing to do, I combine those with my daily tasks. So I'm like, okay, I need to chop wood to earn some miles. Well, I'm going to go shake these particular trees, like this particular set of trees. And then when I shake the set of trees, I will then be able to um, hit them and, and chop the wood. And then I'll earn my Nook Miles and I'll get all the resources at the exact same time. So I like doing that. And I like having only just like a certain amount of them to do. Like, I think I have my trees clustered in sections of like four, well, probably like three to five, because otherwise it's just too much. You know what? I saw this little bug here. I, oh, this is the bagworm. Not that. Darn it. I'm going to have to shake the tree again. Um, I saw this little bagworm here. So let me see if I can grab him in this one. Yes. Oh, shoot. It's my first time of running into this in this island. I can't carry it. Okay, swap something. I forgot that I don't have very much storage here. I need to, let's see, I end up getting, you end up getting four lines of storage that you can walk around, carry around. Um, but in the beginning, it's definitely tough because you're trying to like, um, you're trying to fish and catch bugs and pick up tree branches and pick up wood and carry your things around. So I found a creature. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is a... This is a thing where I have to start donating it. Okay. Can I do all of them? Oh, darn it. I can't. Okay. Go chop wood so that I can make a slingshot. But I feel like I bought a slingshot too. Let's check out what I have in inventory and then figure out what to do. Okay. I have a full inventory. I should go drop some stuff off. Let's go drop some stuff off. Oh, you know what? That's what I did. I did all of my... Um, donating of the fish and bugs. So now I have Blathers' tent. So then if I can set this down today, he will show up tomorrow and then I can get to work on donating things to him so that we can have the museum set up. The problem that I have is that I really don't want to have the museum down with the rest of us. Um, when I say rest of us, I want it to be on a different part of the island. I feel like I want it to be... Um, like just not in the same area. That's the mistake or not mistake, but that's the problem that I have with the other, with my other island is that, oh, look, there's my Animal Crossing. Can I zoom in? There's my Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. Yay. Uh, that's the problem that I have with my Southern Hemisphere is that the, um, oh, I don't want that inside, campfire inside. That's the problem that I have is that I I have I had to put the museum. Well, I suppose I didn't have to. I put it where I at the time I put it where I wanted to, and then I did end up moving my museum. Um, and of course, every time you move something, it costs you money. So that's kind of that's annoying, right? Like it's annoying. I don't think I have storage in um, this little tiny tent, which is like a bummer because then what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? I'm going to just place some of these things around so that I don't have to carry them with me. Uh, and then I'm going to go set down some of these other things that I got when I got them or when I crafted them, I'm going to go set them down outside. Yeah. When I look at a map here, click the map for your next location. Okay. When I look at this map, I do not want the museum within this little area here. I want the museum either I feel like I want the museum to the left, kind of like, what are we looking at? D2 or maybe even C3 near the water, probably more like D2. So I need the little thing that jumps me over the river and that might take a couple days. I don't remember. I don't think I have it in my DIYs, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. So I'm going to have to remember where I get that um, so that I can work on it so that I know that... Um, Makoalote Miles. Let's see what I've got. I know that Blathers is going to give me a shovel, uh, but I don't remember how I get the, what is that thing called? I can't even remember now, but I don't remember how I get the stick to jump across the river. 
So I'm just going to kind of keep playing here and then we'll be back. Okay, I think I am going to place this campfire, like, I don't want to say right in the center, but yeah, like pretty central to this. And then I have this nice little hay bed that I made for some seating. Um, let's see how this looks. Uh, I'm okay with that right here. Look how bland this looks. I mean, I know that I said I started the Northern Hemisphere so that I could work on the, uh, or get, like, get started before winter time hit and so I could have snow, but everything is just, like, brown and, I don't know, it's not very appealing. Uh, let's see if I can turn this around and kind of get some more stuff set up. I do love the stone stool. I just picked it up there so you didn't really see it. But I actually like putting the stone stool just kind of all around everywhere. Um, it is it is a seating place. You can see. You can just sit down on it. Um, but I also like putting something on top of it. Like on my other island, I have like flowers and stuff like that put on top of it. I think I might have a garden lantern on one of them. Here, Antonio's fishing again. I feel like he's been fishing the entire time that I've been running around the island. So here's some more weeds to pick up. Let's see. I wonder if Tom, Tom Nick would probably tell me what to do next, but I definitely know that at some point I'm going to have to just stop for the day and wait until tomorrow to see what the tasks are. So like I said before, I will definitely come back and work on, uh, I'm going to be bringing you a tour of my Southern Hemisphere Island and I'll be showing you updates of the Northern Hemisphere Island. The Northern Hemisphere, I suspect, is going to be the one where I'm going to get a lot more of the um, toy, the toys and the snow. I don't think that the Southern Hemisphere is going to necessarily get snow on stuff. Um, I feel like maybe the Southern Hemisphere is going to get the decorated trees, like I'll have ornaments and stuff like that on it, but I don't think that I'm going to get snow just because like that's not the time of year for snow, right? So I'm going to have to just wait and see what happens. But like I said, that's why I started this island. So I'm going to end the video now. Um, definitely like and subscribe so that you can get some more videos from me. I'm going to be doing videos on bullet journaling, sewing, quilting, um, we're still in the hotel right now, but once we get set start, sorry, once we get settled in our house, uh, which we will hopefully be moving into very soon, then I'll be doing a lot more crafty things. Um, I'll have access to, of course, all of my stuff, and I'll be showing you around the town that we moved to. And yeah, I have a lot of big plans for this. So, like I said, like and subscribe and you'll be able to get notified whenever there's more videos from me. Um, I'm going to do I am going to do Vlogmas. So come back and check out my videos. I'm going to uh, do an introduction during the first week. And then I have uh, various plans and ideas for what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the time. So I'll end the video here. Here's a nice little shot of me in the um, my little orchard. Well, I suppose these guys don't actually have very many. Uh, these ones don't have apples on them. Just this one over here does. And oh, I always forget about the filters. Some of these look so crazy, don't they? Let's see. I want to move. There we go. That's a better picture. All right. Like and subscribe. Hope everybody's having a great day. I hope that.